The will of the people as expressed through votes on the 15th of February 2021 by the Tangale Traditional Council of Kingmakers should prevail for the right person to ascend to the throne of Maid Tangale according to the customary laws of the Tangale people. But the situation at hand has brought about many sides of the divide on whom will lead the people of Tangale. They waited patiently outside the election forum. And when the result came out, out of the nine, we have Dr. Musa Mayamba, who voted five out of nine. Amidst jubilation, people were waiting for the state government to make pronouncements, which, of course, an ordinary mind can feel that, yes, it was only good to take that which has been elected, which is Dr. Musa Idris Mayamba. Tensions started, the people went to the street expecting that the government do the needful by declaring the will and the wish of the people. Because it is expected that when you are elected as the Mai Tangle, you are coming back to rule over these subjects who were in anticipation of declaration and pronouncements. But lo and behold, till I'm speaking to you now, the government has not made any pronouncements. 18 contestants who were vetted and screened for the exalted seat, which reduced Dr. Musa Idris Mayamba, the winner, having scored the highest votes, followed by Alhaji Danlati Magaji and Alhaji Ahmed, with two votes each. Now, the bone of contention, according to the people, as of Thursday, the 18th of February 2021, three days after the official results of the election was forwarded to Governor Inuayaya of Gombe State, he has allegedly refused to announce the popular choice of the people in person of Dr. Musa Idris Meyamba with the highest votes. The people, through their representatives, say the governor is hiding behind the Gumbu State Chieftaincy Law 2020 to disenfranchise the Tangale nation of their popular choice. Uh, it's unfortunate for leaders to speak from the two sides of the mouth. A leader, when he says yes, it should be yes. When he says no, it should be no. After telling the people to the hearing of everybody that you will honor the choice of the Tangale people, and now to come and tell them something to the contrary, it means you are not reliable. And it is unfortunate, by my own assessment, that it is that statement that generated what happened uh, at Billy? All those protests was a result of saying, uh, Your Excellency, you said something, you are trying to do something else. Please don't. The action or inaction of the governor led the people of the chiefdom on Wednesday, 17th of February 2021, to take to the street to protest the inability of the government to give them a ruler demanding the immediate action before lawlessness takes over. The Biliri Adamawa Federal Highways was said to have been blocked by protesting women wearing black attires who came out in their hundreds, blocking the main road leading to Oyola Adamawa State, thereby obstructing vehicular movement for a couple of hours before passage. The demand of the Tangale people is that the government of Gumbi State, under the leadership of Inuayaya, abide by the choice of the people and confirm their choice as the 16th May of Tangale. Of the nine kingmakers, five voted for Dr. Musa Idris Mayamba, who is a very strong Christian. And the two that came far behind him were Muslims. Now the governor is now, from the feelers we are having, is preferring to our point, that lady, Mashan, as the chief of Tangale, and that's the whole thing that's delaying all this. Is. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried about the motive. Inwa, Muhammad Inwa, the governor of Gombe has against our people. It is said that since Dr. Musa Idrish has fulfilled all conditions to ascend to the throne as represented by the choice of the people, there should be no going back. Uluwatubi Anitun reporting for Viable TV.